Hi, my name is Beth and I'm a sewing pattern designer and blogger at Sew DIY. Today's video is my vlog for September 2020 and I'll also be talking about my new work from home mini capsule wardrobe pattern bundle. I know it's kind of a mouthful, but it's really exciting and I can't wait to share it with you. Let's start off though by talking about all the things that I was posting and making and working on in September. So over on the blog, the summer sweatsuit sew along was continuing and I did a video where I showed how to sew the racerback tank top that's part of the sweatsuit. And then I have two blog posts for hacks for the summer sweatsuit shorts. And those hacks show you how to make jogger style pants and a wide leg knit pant. They're both pretty cool and I'll even be showing them to you later. The other video that I did this month was how to determine fabric stretch percentage. I talk a little bit about terminology around fabric stretch that's used in sewing and try to demystify it and the whole process of actually measuring for fabric stretch. It's super important to test fabric stretch when you're sewing. So I definitely recommend checking out that video. I'll put a link in here and then for everything else, there will be, there will be links down in the show notes. So I didn't have a ton of time for sewing this month. I was pretty busy getting those hacks ready for the blog and working on another freelance gig. So I've mostly been planning and I do love planning my sewing makes, um, maybe as much as actually the sewing, maybe not, but um, I had a lot of fun planning this month and I started off by planning a mini capsule wardrobe to take with me to Palm Springs next week. I'm doing a little socially distanced getaway. And let me see, where's my, oh yeah. <laughs> so I have a little drawing that I did. Hopefully you can see that. Um, just on a scrap of paper as I note everything in my life. So um, this was inspired by a challenge from my body model. And it's a capsule wardrobe with three tops, three bottoms, and three layers. So my little capsule wardrobe is a mix of t-shirts and shorts, um, a Lou box dress one, a Dana jumpsuit, my little um, terry cloth tiger robe, and everything is really in this kind of um, brown and black color scheme. And I really did a good job resisting trying to make new things because generally when I'm going on a trip, I have all these ideas about all these things I want to make prior to the trip. But for this, I knew I wasn't going to have a lot of time. So it's really pretty much everything here is already made or if it's not made, I'm kind of crossing it off with the exception of one thing and that is a knitting project. And I'm going to be making a simple tank top kind of like this one, but knitting it from this black and brown yarn that's been in my stash for years and years. So pretty excited to have this project with me while I'm there because I think it'll be a lot of like sitting around. <laughs> and then I do have a project that I'm hoping to finish before then, and that is making a little swim top. And I'm using the Seamwork K pattern which i've already shown you at least once before it's kind of my like favorite pattern of the year except for my own of course um but i sewn it a bunch of times and i had some leftover black swimsuit fabric so i thought it'd be fun to make a little swim top and if i had time i would also be making a one-piece swimsuit um, I saw one months ago that it was just like really simple tank one-piece swimsuit but kind of maybe like lower neck, but like lower armholes, which I really liked the design of. So I found in my stash this pattern, it's vintage stretch and sew, and it has all the pattern pieces, but it didn't have the instruction book because it's actually a different book. So I ordered this off of Amazon and um, I'm very glad that I did because it has advice on adjusting the length for your um, torso size, which I definitely need to do because I'm 5'11 and this pattern is not designed for that. So for that one, I have some stash swimsuit fabric. I have this like bright blue swim fabric 
and I have lining already in my stash too, and I'm pretty sure I have elastic, so I don't think I'm gonna have time to get to that one before my trip, but um, I should have time to make the bra top or swim top, and I'm also really hoping that I have time to make a new dress, even as I'm saying that I know it's impossible, but um, I have a new dress design that I've really been wanting to try out and it'd be perfect for Palm Springs. So fingers crossed I can get it done. So the one new thing that I made this month is a cardigan. And today it's a little too hot to wear this cardigan, but um, it's from a sweater knit and I made it using my Tossy Draft It Yourself pattern. And I'm planning to have a video all about this probably um, in two weeks. I'm taking off next week. So I um, got this new long cardigan. I'm really excited to have it for the winter. So speaking of the cardigan, that brings me to my like big announcement of the month, which is a new pattern bundle. And as I was making my um, mini capsule for my vacation, I thought of a mini capsule wardrobe for working at home. I've been working at home, you know, for the last six months and it's so different than when you go to the office. I, like the, the decision making process that I go through for what I'm going to wear is totally different when I'm working at home. And mostly my goal is just to be comfortable. So on another scrap of paper, I worked up a little mini capsule wardrobe using all sew DIY patterns. And this one adheres really strictly to the idea of three tops, three bottoms, and three layers. So for the tops, I'm using the Lou box top pattern. And here are my three tops in my little wardrobe. And with the sleeve expansion pack, you can do a wide variety of tops. So I just have a regular top in silk for times when I need to do a meeting and need to look presentable from the top up. And then a short sleeve t-shirt and a long sleeve t-shirt. And that really takes you through a lot of different weather temperature scenarios. Then for the bottoms, I use the summer shorts pattern and use the hacks that I just posted about this month. There are three bottoms and the first one are shorts for those warm days. And then joggers, I should have just put in photos here too. <laughs> and then the wide leg pants. So it really gives you a variety. Um, they're all super comfy, knit fabric, elastic waist. And cause that's what you want to wear when you're working at home. Like there's no way I'm going to be wearing jeans or something constricting. Um, it's just elastic waist all the way. And last but not least for the layers in the mini capsule wardrobe, I'm using the Tossy Draft It Yourself robe and jacket pattern. So I've selected this robe that's made out of rayon, which is just like dreamy and luxurious. And then a jacket made out of linen, which is like very sophisticated. And this is really good for when you have to do a meeting, you can just pop it on. Like you could even put it on over a t-shirt and wear a scarf or a necklace and you look totally pulled together super fast. And the idea for wearing this jacket during a Zoom meeting actually comes from my mom. She's been telling me for months probably. She keeps saying, oh Beth, I'm wearing that jacket you made for me. In all my Zoom meetings, you have to tell people that this jacket is perfect for Zoom meetings. And then my new cardigan is also part of the capsule wardrobe and this will be for cooler days. Um, it can be paired with the joggers and the long sleeve t-shirt for when you really need more layers to stay home while you're working. So I came up with this capsule wardrobe and then decided that I really should do a pattern bundle because I think everyone would appreciate having this little DIY wardrobe at hand for our many months of working from home. So in the pattern bundle, you get those three patterns, the Lou box top, summer sweatsuit, and draft it yourself tossy. And you also get the quilted slippers, which has been a very popular pattern in the shop this year. I've been pretty surprised, but very glad that people love that pattern. So it's those four and plus the Lou box top sleeve expansion. So it's kind of four and a half patterns. Foxy, what are you doing? Um, <laughs> and then I put together a few workbook pages that will help you plan your wardrobe. And those are just a PDF printable. It's all PDFs because um, I don't currently have printed patterns in my shop. 
but the total value of all those patterns is $64. And right now I have it on sale for $40. So it's like a 35, 37% discount. And it's going to be discounted for two weeks. And then um, after that, it'll probably be discounted about 15%. So I definitely recommend getting it now. It's a great deal. You can build a whole wardrobe plus like a ton of other things. And a lot of these things are really quick to sew and they're definitely very, very comfortable. Well, I think that's about all for this month. Um, definitely check out the work from home pattern bundle. I will put a link down in the show notes along with links to all the other, all the other blog posts that I mentioned. Happy sewing. Mm -hmm.